But both factcheck.org and the Washington Post own fact checker disagree. The Post are warning the claim two out of four Pinocchios. I talked about it earlier tonight with MoveOn.org's Justin Rubin. So, Justin, the, the funding that the Republicans want to cut is actually not specific to women's health. It's funding for a lot of different services, as you know, tobacco prevention, HIV screening, nutrition programs, immunizations, hiring more doctors. And these are services that benefit men, women, children. So how can you say the Republicans are pitting students against women here, that they're targeting women's health? Sure. Well, first of all, the, the background here that folks should know is that you have student loan rates that are going to double on July 1st, which is a huge problem for students that are already uh, groaning under the weight of all these loans and uh, you know and, and Republicans are under a lot of pressure for blocking efforts to fix that and then their latest gambit has been to turn around and say we're gonna cut these health care programs um, which predominantly they're basically a big fund for health care programs that predominantly benefits women that's and, not true well no that it is true actually that, well, how can you say that where, where, where how, do, how can you say that well there's so there's two things first of all 60 percent of the funding overall uh, goes to basically f programs that benefit women uh, and their children, and then you have. Well, wait, wait a minute. So, so children. Now you're including children in on this, um, but I mean, I, you you can't say that 60 percent of the funding goes for women and children. It, it's not broken down like that. Most of the funding actually goes for hiring doctors and anti-smoking efforts and anti-obesity efforts. So basically, what's happened is Republicans have cut funding for health care programs. The president says, "Okay, I'm going to use this fund to to pay for essential." cervical and breast cancer screening programs in, 2013, in, the, in the 2013 budget. Republicans then respond by saying, well, we're going to cut that whole fund, including the funding for those programs. It's funding for obesity. It's funding for HIV. It's funding for a lot of things you cannot factually say. Factcheck.org says, you, you agrees, you cannot say this is funding specifically for women or overwhelmingly for women. In fact, when you the know, Democrats agreed to cut billions of dollars from this a couple months ago, MoveOn.org didn't say the Democrats are targeting women's health. It's only now that it fits your agenda that you're saying this is about women's health. Yeah, no, Anderson, I think that's just not true. President Obama himself agreed to take money out. His budget, in fact, for 2013 specifies taking billions of dollars out of this. But, but you don't say he's targeting women, do you? I haven't heard MoveOn.org say President Obama is targeting women's health, that the Democrats were targeting women's health five months ago. Now it's Republicans targeting women's health because they're wanting to do it. The, you know, the fact is, you have we have millions so of MoveOn members so when, who benefit from programs. So when President Obama was programs, wanted to, we 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 fight President, we fought President Obama all the time. So, I don't, so where is your ad? Cutting, pro, where's your ad saying run, President Obama is targeting against women? President Obama. Right, we've but, cut ads, but the fact is, if you want to look at who is consistently targeting women, who's the who's the you know who's the party that's trying to eliminate funding for Planned Parenthood? Who's the party that has consistently been trying to cut funding for cervical cancer and pap smears? That's the Republicans. And we're going to call that out. And of course they're going to try to dodge and get away from that. But the fact is, it's true. There are, there is over 200 millions of dollars of 2013 funding that they are zeroing out. So in and, President and Obama's 2013 is, budget, when he talks about... We shouldn't be having this conversation. Well, Why are we having a conversation? Look, you have Because my job is to, to report on no, facts, know, but, not to meet your agenda. And when President Obama suggests in his 2013 budget, cutting billions of dollars from this, I don't see a MoveOn.org ad saying President Obama is attacking women. You only seem to be targeting Republicans because that meets your political agenda. I, I just, I just don't think that's true. I mean, w look. You're so, so when President Obama wants to cut money from this, that's not targeting women. President Obama wants to look. When what? President Obama yes or no? Wants, Does that target women when President Obama wants to to take billions of dollars out of this? If, when President Obama is taking billions of dollars out of this, that's wrong, and it will have a disproportionate effect so on women. So he's targeting women. I don't think it's fair to say President Obama is waging a war on women. Of course not. Because but Republicans he, are. Because in yes. This case. Look, look, you have a bill in you have a bill in Virginia that would require invasive. I'm not talking about other issues. I'm, I'm talking there about is specifically a on this. Look, this, this I, I feel like this isn't rocket science. You have a, a billion dollars of funding. Overall, most of that is going to programs that aren't women specific, but that disproportionately benefit women. Much of well, it. But you're saying because they also benefit children. I mean, they, they benefit everybody. I'm not. I'm not arguing for cutting this program. Yeah, if, uh, it benefits but, everybody. It, it, it's it's just you, disingenuous you to look, say I mean, that it's. If you it's, actually look at the, if you actually look at this, right. the majority of the people who benefit from those programs are women. And okay. then well, you have hundreds of millions. Factcheck.org says that's not true. It, it, it says you can't say that. I mean, that, that there, no, if think, you look I, at I the line item is, specific, hiring of doctors, uh, anti obesity. Uh, HIV, but if you take the obesity program, smoking. for example, because because you have more women of childbearing age that are obese, in fact, 
disproportionately that funding goes to women. And the fact that it doesn't have women well, it's in actually, the title actually, what doesn't it is, mean it goes, it's not going to affect well, actually, women's no, what, it, what it is is it mostly goes to community grants to, to do things, environmental things, like walking paths, which benefit everybody. To say that a walking path benefits women more than men, again, just doesn't seem... I, I understand I your just, argument. I just, think this is a, I just think this is... We're splitting hairs here. You have a, you have a program that disproportionately benefits women hundreds of millions of dollars of that funding specifically earmarked for vital things like cervical cancer and breast cancer screenings and then you know this is part and parcel of what republicans have been doing all year and so that the, the, they're going to say oh well this is again this isn't part of our war on women it's just an attack on health care generally i mean come on there's there's a way to pay for these student loans and not and make sure the rate doesn't double and that's to ask millionaires and billionaires to pay their fair share and well, that, not to go after health care funding that's a separate discussion and i but understand it's, but your it's position part of the i understand your your argument i appreciate it justin thank you thanks for having me thanks